On this Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm going to give you my top five items for the beach. We bought some new things to bring down here and try out this week at the beach. This tent is one of them. So on this video, I wanted to go over and review a few things that we enjoyed this week at the beach. We had two different tents that we were trying out. We had this one that's more like a dome, and then we had the other one that's more like a traditional tent. While I feel like both of them are totally different, and I'm gonna link everything in the description box. This one, as a dome, the actual floor got really hot when it was in the sun. This thing is easy to pop up. Like, literally, it takes a minute. And it is super tiny. It is the size of a folding chair. One minute and done. Super quick, super easy. And it's been windy, and it is held by just putting down the sandbags and put a few of the stakes down but it has held up really good in the wind. This would be perfect if you want a couple of chairs and slide them back in here and just kind of sit back in here. The other one is if you wanted a bigger space or a bigger area and you wanted that. Now this one I think is called like a four person tent. I wouldn't put four people in here. This is two, definitely a two person tent. Now this tent was super easy to put up. The other one wasn't horrible but you had to fill up the bags really heavy with sand, stretch it way out, and then pop the poles in. The guys were struggling with it the first day trying to get that thing put up. But it just depends on what you're looking for in a tent. If you're looking for a big surface area, the other tent, it is perfect for this. But if you're just looking for a place for a couple of people just to tuck back in out of the sun, this one will work for you. On the tent, you can roll these up or down so that you can completely close this up or you can leave it open. You can even zip up the front. If you wanted to change in here, you could do that as well. Okay, so I want to give you a real quick update on the tent, the second tent, the, the Nemo or whatever it's called. Yesterday, the wind got up pretty hard and it snapped one of the poles. Now we have it kind of rigged. So, I just want to let you know, because that's one thing on this channel I want to be 100% honest, and I want to let you know my thoughts, is the poles are the weak point of that tent. Now you can just use two poles, and we have four poles, so, but anyway, I just wanted to break in here real quick and give you an update on the tent. The second thing that we bought and brought to the beach with us, a huge sand blanket. I got this, well, when it came, it's more like a parachute material, and I thought that it was gonna be more of a blanket material. But it has been great to put up under the big tent and give you a place to kind of get off of the sand. The sand like swaps right off of it. It doesn't stick to it, and it's easy. And it's got pockets on the corners that you can put sand in to hold it down. And we haven't had a problem at all with it wanting to blow away. And Maddie, we put her little baby pool that they brought, a little pool that's a dog pool, but it's perfect. It kind of folds up and it just sits over there and it has worked out good. I definitely recommend that blanket. It's a huge blanket and I think that it works out very well. Love, love this blanket. The only thing is it does stain easily. It does have like a bunch of stain looking on it. But when I got it, I almost sent it back because I didn't think I was going to like it at all, but this thing has been really great. The wagon. We've had wagons before and it's like pulling a sled. The wheels don't turn and it just slides through the sand. This particular wagon, I read a lot of reviews on it and everybody said that it was very, the tires were so wide and it was easy to pull through the sand. And I completely agree with that. It was super easy to pull through the sand. And we were watching some people pull their wagons and the tires weren't turning. But the tires were at least turning on it. My favorite thing of this wagon is the little flip up table and it has two cup holders. You could like slide that up in between you and your chairs or whatever. I was using it for kind of like a bar. Like when I would go to fix my drink, I could like lay, give me a place to lay my drinks and then fill them up and do everything. The wagon 
love that thing and it folds up pretty small now the, the negative that i can say about the wagon is you have to stand it upside down because if you try to stand it up with the tires down it just it's going to fall over it's just going to roll away it's nothing you can do about it the fourth thing that we brought with us is a fan it is a rechargeable fan it has three speeds it puts out a good bit of air it says that it can work for 36 hours. I don't know about that. I've not tried that far. We've had it on and off and it hasn't died yet over the last few days, but it seems like it's working pretty good. Also, if you wanted to use it as to charge your phone or something, you can do that as well with it. So it will even be like a charger. It's got flexible legs that you can wrap around stuff and that way you can just kind of mount it anywhere you want. The fifth thing that we brought with us was water playing cards. Now, I really thought that we would play with these or use these, but we haven't. But that's because we've been at the beach and not at the pool. But I think they would be great for the pool. They, uh, they're just plastic, clear plastic and they lay on top of the water so that you can lay them down and then pick them back up. Here's my card. Did it not? I guess that one didn't float. You're wondering what that was. Okay, so the cards, they float on top of the water, but if you put them under the water, they sink. I hope you enjoyed these top five things that we've been using at the beach that I got from Amazon and tested out. Till next time, like and subscribe.